lost my drone. I had to jump a barbed wire fence. The sun is setting. There's no sign of Jeremy yet. Oh, here comes a good one. So late last night, Jeremy's dad, we call him Poppy Rod at our house, he arrived to come visit us. He's gonna be staying with us for a while and we're so excited to have him. The kids this morning like cannot wait to see their grandpa. Unfortunately, something new to us living here is the huge time change. So even though it's like almost 8 a.m. our time, it's still super early in the morning for him. So I feel bad for him when he wakes up. But the kids are excited to see him and we're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm next. <laughs> I'm mixing. You're mixing? So the kids have started a new thing where they put all the different kinds of Cheerios together. I think you put too much in the bowl. I want to try every kind by themselves. Yeah, that's my preference. One question. Do you ever mix your cereal? Right, we'll see what other people do if they're weirdos like you guys. Well, Isaac did it. He ate that whole bowl of cereal. Where's the Boomba? Good morning. She doesn't know who's here. Look who it is. Hey. It's Poppy hey. Rod! Do you remember me? <laughs> <laughs> So the kids have an assignment to write several sentences using adjectives and present it at their Spanish class today. Yeah. In Spanish. In Spanish, for sure. Una flor de azul huele bien. Mama. Mama. It's awesome that my dad speaks Spanish to help our kids out. 45 years ago, he learned Spanish here in Puerto Rico. He did some missionary service for about 14 months on the island. And this is his first time back since then. Look at how good your balance is. You're getting so good. Yeah. Oh, good try. Nice. How are you liking tennis? It's fine. You're doing great. So after tennis, we came home to do some school. Laura's rocking out the piano. Mamá nos enseña a utilizar el tenedor. She's teaching him how to use the knife and the fork. Luego comemos. Notice that the baby is upside down. For the fun of it. You going upstairs? Try and keep the shoes on and take the stroller up the stairs. Do you want me to take it up for you? So today in math, Caleb is learning about regrouping, sometimes called borrowing and subtraction. And that can be a tough thing to learn, but he's doing great at it. Hello? I need seven. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm only one. Well, I need it right now. What am I supposed to do? Give me seven. Ah! I'll go next door and try there. What do you need? Um, I need seven. We don't have it. What do you guys have? Ten. Well, uh, I think a ten will work. Okay. Will you come? Yeah. Okay. This is now a 11. So and what's 11 minus 7? Perfect. What are you working on? I'm doing my Spanish. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Boom, boom. If you're happy and you know it, dump your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp those feet. We're headed to Spanish class at the local library and the kids and I are going to give our presentations.
We're not even late. Yes. Una galleta. Lechuga. Galleta. Lechuga. Caleb has caught on. He's on fire. What do you think of regrouping, buddy? It's fine. Four. Sorry, we only have three. I need four right now. Oh, what do I do? I guess I'll just go to the tent and I have something. Hey, what do you need? I need um four. Sorry, we only have ten. Well, I think it'll work. Now. Now what's the problem? This is a six. Yep. And this is a 13. Six and 13. So 13 minus four equals nine. Nailed it. And then six minus three equals three. Now let's check it. Good work, Caleb. You got it correct again. Good work, you're on a roll. So one of the ways that I manage homeschooling all of my kids is that I kind of rotate which kids are needing a lot more of my hands-on help. So with Caleb learning regrouping today, I knew that he and I needed quiet time alone to really focus on this. Whereas Elise is practicing today a skill she already learned yesterday, so she's just going over that and doing her work, and Isaac is too. So I kind of am able to rotate through the new concepts and the review so that I'm not teaching everybody new things at the same time. Jeremy's helping make dinner. I'm trying not to cut my fingers. The potatoes are kind of small. Usually we let the kids help, but these potatoes are hard. Yeah, they're, they keep like flying out of my hands. <laughs> Laura keeps laughing at me. You watching? Yeah, I'm watching both of you. Mom's cutting the potatoes, Dad's peeling the potatoes. So we're hoping to head to the beach this afternoon, and one thing I've learned is that by the time we get home from the beach, everybody is so hungry, so I'm trying to get dinner done before we go, so when we get home, we can just pop it in the oven and eat right away. What do we actually eating what's the end product gonna be i don't know it's kind of like shepherd's pie kind of oh, yeah. like like there's ground beef and cheese and vegetables and ham and mashed potatoes sauce with that? i don't know what i'm gonna try let's do it laura wanted to grab the camera so i think i heard janene we're gonna have to go in. oh did you hear her yeah <laughs> really know if this is going to turn out or not, but it's going to be edible, for sure. Each element tastes good. Yeah, so hopefully they taste good together. Nene, let's go get your swimsuit on. Yeah! Okay. First you got to pick out which swimsuit you're going to wear, Janae. Which one do you want? This one? Ooh, the yellow and blue one. He's going to jump in. Oh, there it ran away. Love those iguanas. Okay, Isaac, how many iguanas have you seen now? 27. Are you keeping track? Yep. What's your goal? Is once I get to 30, I'll just stop counting. So our new car has a sunroof in it, and I've never had a car with a sunroof in it, and I really like it. I feel pretty cool having a sunroof, so. Have we ever told them how we got this car? I don't think we've ever told them how we got the car. I don't we even should. know the kids. Do the kids know how we got no, the car? I do. Okay, so here's the story. When we found the house that we're currently living in in Puerto Rico, Jeremy's mom, who was already living here, walked through the house for us and she was Marco polling us. And she walked through the garage and we stopped her. We're like, mom, wait, was that a van in the garage? And she's like, yeah. And we're like, can we have the van too? Like, will they sell us their van? And they said yes. So now we have the house and the van. So Elise is trying her sand stamps. Hey! Look at that! I did mine! Woo! It worked! <laughs> <I'm> too wet. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So you want to wait until the wave is breaking. <laughs> ah! A little too early. <laughs> you okay? You got crushed. Looks like your knees are bleeding a little. They are. I'm so sorry. What are you guys building? I'm building a sandcastle. Sandcastle. We're gonna get a big wave, I can see it. It's coming. So Janae does not 
not love the waves crashing on the beach, but we came out deeper and she's like in the water. Kendra also doesn't typically come out this deep because there are living creatures in ah, the ocean. Don't talk about it. And then there's Lauren. So what have you thought of boogie boarding? Awesome. Oh, here comes a good one. <laughs> here comes a good one. <laughs> this looks like ice cream. It is. How come you decided to make ice cream? You're thinking about ice cream right now? Well, now all of a sudden I'm hungry for ice cream. Perfect. Whole question, are you craving ice cream right now? Because I am. Oh, that sounds really good. And the cherry on the top. Nice. Great creation. If you could eat any flavor of ice cream right now, what would it be? Sherbet. Sherbet? Uh-huh. Well, that's fun. Whole question, how do you pronounce sherbet? 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 Sherbert? Are there other pronunciations? I've always been confused by that word. The boys are still in the water. What happened? Did the waves get your drawings? Laura's been over here creating these masterpieces and apparently the tide is coming in. Do you want more water in that one? She keeps bringing me these things and asking for water. So I go fill them up by the scary big waves for her and bring it back. Here we go. <laughs> the non-glamorous ending to every beach trip is showering off and trying to take as little sand home with us as possible, which is impossible. Shake it off, shake it off. Oh, 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 oh. Did Janae get washed off? Yeah. Oh. We're lucky to have a grandpa here to help. Hey dad, I think you left something. Go back and get it. <laughs> We're so grateful to have his help. So before we left for the night, Jeremy was flying his drone. He loves flying his drone, but the winds really picked up and the drone crashed. It did not land like it was supposed to. It actually crashed in a place we can't get to. So now Jeremy's trying to somehow retrieve his drone. So Jeremy took off the drone from this parking lot and it landed so close just on the inside of that fence. His dad is standing there and Jeremy's trying to figure out where he needs to go to get inside of there but it looks like just a really thick jungle. I lost my drone. It flew into a tree. I had to jump a barbed wire fence and I'm in the rainforest trying to find it. Dad, where are you? I'm right over here, so you're on. All right, it hit, yeah, a shirt would be great. All right, so my drone hit this palm tree right there and then it flew into the jungle over here. All I can think about is Swiss Family Robinson when that big snake gets them as they're like going through a Caribbean island. Let's see if we can find it in here. Could be anywhere. Where is it? I can feel the spider webs everywhere. The light is gonna go away too. It's almost sunset. All right, I'm gonna try to go up higher to see if I can get a better look. So I climbed up on this palm tree that fell over. Straight ahead, 42 feet. I found it! Yeah, it's straight ahead. <sighs> All right. My dad, dad, he found it! He found it! And all we have to find out is if it works or not. Got the idea to like check on the drone, so we turned it on and stuff. It was 40 feet straight in front of him. Way to go! Good job, buddy! Well, we're gonna have to see, will this thing ever fly again? It broke a blade, but I can replace those. Marco! Bolo! Are you alive in there? I'm alive! Awesome! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't see you, so I hope you're okay! There he is! We see him! Way to go through the jungle for your drone. I'm not letting this baby go. <laughs> Oh, oh, be careful. Just don't hurt yourself, babe. There is nothing worth hurting yourself for. If you break something, it's gonna be such a problem. Okay, I talked him into looking for a safer route back. There he goes. May the force be with you. I found a road. 
which is much easier than trying to forage my way through the rainforest. So I guess it was so windy that while I was flying the drone right over here over the beach, it said I couldn't use my controllers. So it just lost control. I was getting so close to landing it and the wind just picked up and blew it right into the forest. All right, well, I've got the drone. We've learned a new phrase in our family that we keep saying over and over and over again. And it's, it's not a big deal. We can handle it. So we're hoping he comes back along the beach. The sun is setting. There's no sign of Jeremy yet. <gasps> there he is! There he is! Do you guys see him? He's coming! Alright, I made my way to the beach. We got it! Can I go in the forest? I really don't think you want to right now. That was kind of gross. Daddy! He's over there! There's Daddy! Yay! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Life is always an adventure. Well, I'm really glad that we made dinner before we went to the beach because we got home later than I planned and we're just finishing up showers and dinner just came out of the oven. Maybe shepherd's pie, we're gonna call it shepherd's pie. We did not follow a recipe, we just want it. I think it's gonna be edible for sure. Good night, Jay House out. You've got one more present. Uh -huh.